Well, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mads and I hope you're all doing great. Today I'm back with another Umbreon build, which is going to be the Foul Play and Snarl build. We have Cramorant as our lane buddy here. And we're going to try we're gonna try and stack again. I was also stacking with my uh I was also stacking with my previous build, which was the main look build. But this time I'm also stacking my Aeos cookies. Because we still wanna be as tanky as possible. Now the advantage the advantage you get with the with the uh, foul play is that you get a lot of mobility. Plus with Snarl you get you get to stun your opponents lots and lots and plus you're also pretty much unstoppable for a 1.2 second. So this is going to be uh, <laughs> I'm hoping this is going to be a great matchup. Their jungler is struggling here. I mean somebody probably took his jungle. Poor thing. We have now the dead jungler plus Snorlax and Mamoswine in the lane. Two great, great laner once again. But we're gonna try to bully them. Uh, is it is it really bullying when you're bully bullying a bully? It's not a tongue twister, but I just made it. So we got our four stacks already, which is nice. Remember, whenever you're stacking, you want to get your stacks as soon as possible because the more the game progresses, it's gonna be more and more difficult. So we got our stick. Uh, we, we got our six stacks. So far, Snorlax is sleeping on her face. Should be able to get him, yeah. Easy. We're doing really great so far. I don't think our bottom lane is doing good. I'm doing well. Wow, the jungler is under level compared to me. And we we'll get him too, once again. We should be able to get snow legs here as well. Yep, easy peasy. Cram's gonna score. I think I'm gonna score too. Yeah, it's alright. We had 30, so we gotta put it somewhere. Now we're struggling here. Oh, nice. So, uh, our whole team is there. <laughs> Looks like a deja vu from my last match where the Zerara had a quad quadruple kill. Nice. It's just. It's really nice when your team shows up on the objectives. It's something we dream while we sleep. We. Us Pokemon Unite players. I don't know, guy. No, you're not going anywhere. Now things are looking intense here. The three of them, I don't have a lot of HP. Should I cut? Nope. No. Nope. Can get it. Yeah. Now, what about Snorlax? Can I get him? I think I can. Let's go at least. When goes down. Yeah. Now I think I'm gonna back off a bit. I'm gonna back off. Get that. Nice and easy. I got united. Yeah. That did almost no damage. Now they they're scoring. Should be able to get Gengar here. Mammoth Swine's gonna run in the middle. Yeah, he 
things here. You know what? I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave you just right now. But you know who else we're not gonna leave? It's the Snorlax. Nobody. You're not safe. You're not safe. United? Okay. Yeah, makes sense. He's like three levels below me. So, makes sense. The squad is here once again for the objective. I got a really nice card. Take a long path so I can heal some HP while I'm running. I mean, it's not that much. It's always just only one percent of your max HP, but it's still something. So we're gonna try and score. It's gonna be really easy. Fifty. So what do we do now? I'm almost level fourteen. Three of them here. We're gonna get snow legs for sure. I think we can get both of them. Snow legs can escape. What does he? Nope. I have an away board now. So he's gonna try his best, but, but of course he can't run away. We're gonna get him as well. Gengar is gone. Uh, who's there? What? <laughs> what? Snowlex just Snowlex is so desperate. He he united on my face. He united with 20 seconds left for the final stretch just to get me. I mean that's that was truly desperate, okay? I knew he was there. But that was hilarious. Uh, honestly, I don't blame him. Uh, uh, if I was him, I would try to do the same. I would try to do the same. Because if you have a high level enemy player close to your uh, home base, you can. It's your best chance of getting them before the final stretch, so you should try to do whatever you can to get them. But here I'm gonna get these two and then I'm gonna get Snorlax once again. Which is going to be awesome. Yeah, we we get the Rayquaza and Snorlax just can't do anything. We're gonna score our 15 which is going to be a 100 of course. And we're gonna try to get that Gengar. Naughty doesn't care about that, I think. Yeah. But we're gonna try to get him. I think it's gonna be easy. Yep. Easy. Now, who do we get? Do we have anyone else up here? Nope. There is Eldegors. So we're going to jump up to her. Her or him, whatever. Mm. Well, that Aldigos, I think, probably has the best level amongst all of the all of our opponents. Even though it's a supporter. I think the reason they're struggling that much is because because their Gengar couldn't do the jungling properly, you know? It's not that bad. I mean, it's level 14, but normally, normally, Gengar is 
at least level 15 at this point but somehow his teammates didn't let him jungle properly and he lost Whew. 17 knockouts 8 assists 247 points dunked and wow that's crazy damage that's crazy damage for a defender don't you think 127k that's nice so there you have it this is a really really fun build i must say i thought the min look build uh, is going to be the most superior one but this one was truly truly fun so do do try that out and make sure to subscribe for more upcoming content i'll be back once again so take care everybody i'll see you in the next one